shut up! You have nowhere else to go. I said shut up! And he tell you you should just come to my house, okay? Hey, come with me, okay? Where are you going? I, Anita! Baby, I'll explain everything to you. You trust me, right? Okay. Where okay. are you taking my daughter to? Where are you taking my daughter to? See, I won't let you take my daughter out on the street into one of your numerous boyfriend's Girl, cars. Don't test me. If you try it, I will do something we'll both regret. Are you really going to take my daughter away from me? What kind of model are you? The one that has pride and dignity. And you know, you've always had fish brains, so I know you don't know what that means. You think that is funny? Do you? Does her right? I think you don't because you have been staring at me since I got into this car. We need to talk. You have a daughter and you're married. Why didn't you tell me before? Can you not overreact? I'm not married, I'm a single mother. And you didn't think it was necessary for you to mention it earlier? I was going to drop her off at my friend's place. Relax, she's not going to spoil our plans. I'll call my friend. Hey, babe, how far now? Where are you? No, 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 no problem. No problem at all. Okay, uh, safe trip, okay? Our plans might have to change. I can't... My friend is not around. No, 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 listen. My mom is expecting you and I for dinner. I'd have to do a lot of explanation if you do not show up. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. I need to take care of my girl. Okay, wait, let me just think. Um... You know what? I have a spare room in the house. We can smuggle her in there so she can stay there during the duration of the dinner. Um, well, I, I hope your, your daughter can stay there unsupervised. Yeah, she's a smart girl. She, I just had to tell her not to come out. Okay, fine. Fine then. We, we have to change that. We need to get you a gown. You can't turn up for the dinner looking like this in your uniform. Where are you going? I want you to tell me everything about my father and why you lied. Baby, I'll explain everything to you, but not now, okay? You need to get back in the car. I'm not going anywhere till you tell me everything. Hey, beautiful. <clears throat> Listen to me. I understand you have every reason to feel the way you feel about your mom right now. But you need to understand her and trust her. I know how mothers can be. As old as I am, my mother keeps me in the dark about so many things. Can you imagine she flew all the way from Abuja to Lagos to surprise me on my birthday without telling me? Who does that? Hmm? But hey, believe me when I tell you that you need to trust your mom. You have my word. Okay? Can we get in the car now? Good, good girl. Okay.
Wow. You look beautiful and exquisite. Shall we? Our Father in heaven, we thank you because of this food that you have provided for us. This food that we are about to eat like a family, just the way it's supposed to be. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We say, Papa, bless this food for us. Amen. My God and my Father, I want us to continue to eat like this. Amen. Look at this, my son, Raymond. Father, I want you to open his eyes. Amen. Let him begin to see the beautiful thing by his side. Amen. That, that thing that he's looking about for Sokoto in everywhere, it is already by his side. Yes, Lord. My God, touch this, my son, that any time from now, he will propose to this, this my daughter that is near Amen. him. Amen. That in no distant time they will give me grandchildren. Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Look at my age. All my mates have grandchildren I don't have. My God, touch my son to take action. Let me have grandchildren from him. Amen. Grandchildren that will surround my table like you promised me in the Bible. Amen. That my children and my grandchildren will surround me, surround Amen. my table. And we will eat like a family. Amen. Father, do it for me. Let my son say Amen, Raymond. Let my son open his eyes and see the beautiful thing by his side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A woman that will come in and be cooking special food for me like this. Mm. Like this, my daughter here, mm. Anita, that can cook special food. What else is a man looking for? This is what I am looking for. God, grant me my heart desire. Grant my son his heart desire. Amen. That in no distant time, ah, we will go home and pay dowry. Amen. In no distant time, we will gather in the church for church wedding. Amen. Yes. I have accepted her. Mm. Father, I want you to bring her in fully Amen. so that she will continue to prepare this special food for my son. Amen. <laughs> and Raymond hid in the closet all the while. Wow. It was my late husband, God bless his soul, that took the pictures. And I carry it everywhere with me I go. Just a moment. I'll bring it out. Mom, please, Mom, please. That's a very embarrassing thing. <laughs> it is not please embarrassing. Don't. She never gets tired of I'm showing coming. that picture everywhere. It's an entirely embarrassing picture, Mom. <laughs> it is not. Oh. <laughs> So, what's the name? Juliet. Juliet? Yes. Oh, what a sweet name. How old are you? I'm 11. Really? You're so cute. Thank you. And I love your hair. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know that my name is Juliet too? Wow. Yeah. So, you're my namesake. Mm-hmm. Juliet, you're so cute. Thank you. What class are you again? <clears throat> I wonder what's keeping her. Mm. One second. <laughs> Let me get her. <clears throat> so, how am I doing so far? Not bad. You're really good at acting. Mm -hmm. With the skills you've shown tonight, I think you'll make it big in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I should go check on Juliet now. All right, let me come with you to make it less suspicious that way. Jesus one. Jesus one. Oh, you're so smart. Mm. Can I have a high five? Mm. <laughs> That's my baby. 
Oh. Hello, Auntie. <laughs> Hi, baby. I, I didn't realize you were up already. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention your niece was around. <laughs> um, well, she fell asleep in the car. You know, she's my sister, her mother. She's, she's away for a while. Great. So, how long is she going to be away for? About four days. Four days. Lovely. So, I can be allowed to stay with this cutie for that long. <laughs> oh, she's so much fun to be with. <laughs> Do you even know that we're name six? Really? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> we are even friends now. My best friend now. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I call you grandmother. I always want to have a grandma. Oh, my princess. You're very free to call me grandma. Mm? You're my granddaughter. There you are. So I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, Janice, I'm here with my new friend, my granddaughter. <laughs> Her name is Juliet. Okay. My name's Seg. Juliet. <laughs> I'm Auntie Janet. Nice to meet you. Ah, I didn't even hear that. Oh, my God. <laughs> a smart girl. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thing is that this particular program is very complex, so it's quintessential that we try to have. Yeah, yeah, yes. You seem very distracted. I cannot afford to have you mess this up for me. Okay. If your head is not in the right place, tell me, and I will give it to someone else. Fix the damn program. Y yes, sir. Hello? Hello? What is your problem? Good morning to you too. Can you move out of my way now? Have you seen your mother this morning? I think I have. You think? That woman gave you coffee and all you did was nod. She came all the way from Abuja and all you've done is pay her not a single attention. Why? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I never asked for her to come. I never asked for any of this. You all have no idea how this whole thing about you all being in my space is affecting me and my work. I can't think straight. Everywhere I turn, you all are there, breathing over my head, telling me how to live my life. Do you know how easier it is to work with computer programs than humans? Humans are very difficult and complicated. And I do not want complications in my life. So please, leave me alone. How did you two meet? Um, <clears throat> we met. We met at work. My work. He came to buy pizza, and he wouldn't leave. <laughs> and then he asked if I was gonna work that evening. I, I said no. And then he asked that we met outside of work. Just like that. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> My word, that young man is so unromantic. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he got that from. His father, mm -hmm. my late husband, was so romantic. Oh, wow. He knew exactly what to say and how to say it, and at the right time to say it. Really? Yeah. He also was a techie, but he never allowed his work to come between our relationship. I mean, he had all the time for me. My husband really loved me. 
Ja. Das ist gut. Ja. Yeah.